Hi guys, it's Steph. Welcome to my kitchen. I have been hungry for shrimp and uh, I've seen some recipes for yellow rice that really sounded good to me. So today I'm going to make some spicy shrimp and to accompany them I will be making some yellow rice. So I have about uh, 8 or 10 large sh shrimp in here and uh, can you see the little knobs of garlic? I will be adding a couple drops of sesame oil and when I say a couple drops, I mean a couple drops. Sesame oil is strong and it can really dominate a dish and I don't like that. Along with the um, sesame oil, I'm going to be pouring on some oyster sauce. And a pinch of garlic powder. You would think the garlic clove would be enough, but I don't know. I like garlic. In addition to that, I am adding a half a teaspoon of sugar. I'm just stirring that all up. Hold on a second. I forgot. Okay. I don't know what your recipe says, but my original recipe calls for a little bit of oil. So I'm only adding about a half a teaspoon of light olive oil. So, this is going to just get nicely coated with the marinade. And uh, sit for maybe 20 or 25 minutes. I'm going to put uh, something on, on top of that and get started with my rice, okay? Oops, I am sorry, I'm in a hurry today. These are red pepper flakes, and I am going to add a half a teaspoon of them to the shrimp as they're marinating. Okay, here we go with the rice. I have here one cup of rice, one cup of cold water, one can of chicken broth, And I will be shaking in some turmeric for the yellow color. Starting off with about a scant half teaspoon. I am adding that, oh I'm sorry for shaking this thing. I'm adding just a pinch of coriander. That's what the recipe that I read said to do. A little pinch of onion powder. I always like that. Trying to reach my garlic powder here and not drop you. Okay, a little bit of garlic powder. And this will, uh, I'll bring this to a boil and cover it and lower the heat and then let it uh, steam for about 20 minutes. The rice and the broth are starting to simmer. And in this little skillet, I am heating up one teaspoon of olive oil and I'm going to saute about it's maybe one-third to one-half cup of sweet. Well, I think I kind of made it more like a risotto than a, than a rice dish. And it was kind of bland, so I added more turmeric, onion and garlic powders, definitely more salt. And at this point, I am adding uh, about a half a cup of frozen peas. And pardon me while I set you down here, okay? And the sautéed onions. and a generous tablespoon of butter. I'm also adding, oh, maybe two, two or three um, stems of green onion and parsley. I like the onion and parsley adds a little bit of vitamin C. So, stir this all together. I think I'm going to add some more turmeric too. I want that bright yellow color. So, okay, I'll bring well, it back. I know it's not perfect by far, but it sure smells good. All right, now I'm going to um, saute my spicy shrimp. Okay. okay, so here are the spicy shrimp sauteing in a little bit of olive oil. Oh, it smells so good. I wish you could smell it. Oh man, 
Hey guys, have you ever really been hungry for something and you either made it yourself or you went out to a restaurant and ordered it and it just fell flat? Well, I want to tell you something. I am loving this. Oh my goodness, I am so glad I made so much of that rice. If you make it, be prepared to just keep adding turmeric and turmeric and turmeric. It just takes a long time to um, absorb that color and display it. But And the uh, spicy shrimp are delicious. Oh gosh, I wish you were here that I could share it with you. Um, on the side, I'm having a few grape tomatoes with just a little bit of Italian dressing on it. But this is a winner. I definitely like this and want to make it again. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you have a great evening, and I will see you soon.